Okay, so we are just rolling along here with the 2020 Wasatch Wildlife Watch training videos. In this video, it's going to be a lot more just me telling you the process of set, um, setting up these cameras. So specifically, we're going to be talking about the timeline in this video. And so let's just get right into it. Um, thank you very much for participating in this project. We can't thank you enough. You're going to hear this through every single video that we do. This project would not be possible without you guys. And so your contribution, I cannot tell you how much it's valued. I hope you took a look at the past results video to see what your work is doing and what it's helping us do. Um, but really, we can't thank you enough. Um, so with that, let's just go into the timeline. This is basically going to just break down what you can expect over the course of the Wasatch Wildlife Watch field season. And so you will be either assigned the camera locations within the central Wasatch or camera locations within the Salt Lake Valley. And so now if you have a Salt Lake City location, you'll probably be thinking, well, that's going to be fairly drab and fairly boring. There aren't a lot of uh, wildlife that could exist in this city. But when you take a closer look and when you really dig deep into what's going on here, there's a ton of green spaces for wildlife to access. And they do, and they do a very good job of utilizing all of the habitat that's at their disposal. And um, on the flip side, you know, if you get a central Wasatch location, you're probably going to be expecting a ton of wildlife and these great photos because you're in this natural landscape. And a lot of the times that's the case, but in other situations, you know, you will come across some development where it's actually gonna be fairly difficult to find a good spot for a camera. You know, you'll get a high, your high elevation cameras that don't have a ton of development or red view but you know in other areas like city creek that has a trail running all the way up it emigration which is an actual township you know in the cottonwoods we have our ski resorts it can actually be difficult to find a camera a location in these spots so um you know there's always their uh tricks and to the trade and there's always things that are going to come up but basically the end result is that if you look at this gradient of wildland urban interface uh, disturbance levels, you'll see that anywhere you go, there's some type of influence going on there. And that's basically what we want to hash out with this is that no matter what location you have, you're going to A, probably get wildlife and B, probably come across some type of human development. So just be ready for that no matter where your camera is located. All right, for expectations. We do expect you to complete all three rotations. So that it ends up being a 15 week commitment. Does that mean that you're going to be doing something, you know, 40 hours a week for every 15 weeks? Absolutely not. But it does mean that when you sign on from week one of the first rotation till, you know, week 15 of the last rotation, you are expected to complete everything that is um, basically, well, expected of you. Uh, and so in that, you will be expected to complete a setup, a check, and a takedown for three different rotations. You're going to be assigned one camera, and that camera is going to come with one folder, but that camera will eventually find its way to three different locations. And so each one of those locations is broken down into a five-week rotation. And at each five-week rotation, you're going to complete the setup, which would make sense. You're going to have to set up the camera. Then you're going to have to check it. And then you're gonna to have to take it down so that you can set up the next rotation. So in total, you will be filling out nine data sheets for this project, three setup data sheets, three check data sheets, and three takedown data sheets. All right, so let's go through an example of rotation or an example camera. So you will most likely be assigned, uh, be assigned a camera that has rotations that are pretty close to each other. And usually they appear in sequential order especially if you have a central Wasatch location, we uh, basically try to do the low elevation cameras first or the low elevation rotations first because a lot of our sites are still pretty covered in snow. So we wanna make sure that we have cameras that basically are available to be surveying at, by the time their rotation comes up. So this would be an example of three rotations that are assigned to a specific camera. Rotation one is this one, rotation two is this one, and rotation three is this one. Here is the basically master table for your rotations. Everything in red here 
should find its way on your calendar in some way. These are the important weeks throughout this survey. So like you'll see right here, there are nine important weeks to remember. And that will go from May 4th until August 16th. And those weeks are the setup, the check, and the takedown for all three rotations. And everyone will have three rotations that they have to complete. And everyone for each rotation will have three weeks that they'll have to visit that rotation. So let's go to kind of go through it in more detail. Let's say that we were assigned um, camera that has canyon site number one, canyon site number two, and canyon site number three as its three rotations. For rotation one, the first week of our setup, the first setup week is May 4th through the 10th. And so you'll notice that we give you an entire week to complete all of the uh, nine tasks that you'll have to do. And that's because we get it that you know, you're going to be busy during the summer. You're going to have a lot going on. And so instead of requiring that you do everything on a very specific day, we're going to give you an entire week to get that camera set up or to get that camera checked or to get that camera taken down. Because we feel like that's only fair. You're going to have your own job. You have your kids. You have school. You have work. Whatever you have going on, you don't have to make this your number one priority. Um, you just have to set aside one day and a little bit of time during that day to get these uh, site checks and these site setups completed. And so the first week is May 4th through the 10th. That is where you're gonna set up the camera. So that'll be finding a site and filling out a data sheet. I would recommend giving more time for the setup weeks than any of the other weeks, because this right here, finding a site, we have almost an entire video dedicated to finding a site. It can be difficult to locate your camera site. And so I would give you a little bit of extra time on these setup weeks. The next week, you don't have to do a thing. That camera is just going to be working on its own, and it's going to be gathering data, and it doesn't need any help. And so that's the 11th through the 17th. On week three, that's going to be your check. That's where you're going to be going back out to the camera. It's going to be May 18th through the 24th, and you're going to be checking the batteries, checking the SD card, checking that the camera hasn't been moved out of place or anything like that, and you're gonna fill out another data sheet, which is really important because the vegetation, this is where you're gonna see the biggest change in vegetation, is from week one to week three. That's when everything's growing, and especially in those upper elevations, and you could have something that's completely clear when you set it up and completely overgrown when you go to check it. So it's really important, though, that we make these checks. I can't tell you how many times volunteers have said that the camera's been moved, or it got knocked out of position, or the battery was low, or the SD card was full, and they would have never known if they hadn't gone to that check. So really, really go to those checks. They're very important. Week four, absolutely nothing once again. That's the 25th through the 31st. And then week five, we'll wrap up our first rotation, and that's where you'll take down the camera. That's June 1st through the 7th. And remember, all of these days in red, these are the most important days to remember because these are the days um, that we will be expecting to hear from you about whether or not you've completed your setup, your check, or your takedown. Anyway, during week five, you're going to recover the camera, fill out a data sheet, recharge, check or change the batteries if they need to, and re um, or switch out your SD card. That's very important. We want to make sure that the SD card that you're using matches the camera's rotation that's currently active. So you want the rotation one SD card working during rotation one, not during rotation two. All right, so just kind of visualize that. Here's our rotation one circled in red right here. We're gonna set up that camera May 4th through the 10th. We're gonna check it May 18th through the 24th, and we're gonna take it down June 1st through the 7th. All right, then we move on to camera site two. Then we move on to our second rotation. And you'll see that you get an entire week between, so you get two whole weeks to take down your first rotation and set up your second rotation. If you choose to set up your second rotation the day you take down your first rotation, that is totally okay. That's why you'll see in parentheses that this setup for week six also includes week five, because if you want to take down your camera from rotation one and set up rotation two on the same day, that's totally cool. 
And so here's rotation two setup though. You get two weeks because you basically get the takedown week and the setup week to set up rotation two. You don't have to do anything during the seventh week. The eighth week is the 22nd through the 28th and you're going to be checking your camera. Nothing during the ninth week. And then you take down that camera site July 6th through the 12th. Once again, recover the camera, fill out the data sheet, um, switch out the SD card, uh, recharge or change the batteries if they need to be done. Um, it does say recharge. I don't think we're actually using any rechargeable batteries anymore. We used to. It just was draining too much of our cameras too soon. So we switched. If you have rechargeable batteries and you'd rather use those, then you're more than welcome to. Just make sure that you recharge them before you set up rotation three. So just to kind of beat a dead horse here, week six setup, June 8th through the 14th, may also be June 1st through the 7th, week eight, June 22nd through the 28th, and week 10th, July 6th through the 12th. Here's the um, rotation three setup and check and takedown. I'm not going to spend a ton of time going over it. Just telling you to remember these dates in red. Uh, don't have to worry about writing them down at this very instant. You can if you'd like. But in your camera installations instructions, these very uh, slides are printed out so that you can see them and you can actually use them um, to make sure that you're on track with your different rotations. Okay, so that wraps up this video for the timeline. Uh, please join us in the next videos where we're going to actually talk about the setup um, process and filling out the data sheets.